Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, I thought I'd share with you guys a launcher that's not only perfect for the elder members of your family, but also those of you struggling with those tiny app icons from the stock Android launchers. And personally speaking, this is one that I'll be installing on my parents' phone for sure. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And don't forget to submit your live wallpaper and home screen requests right from within the Epic Live Wallpaper app. Just head to the live section and then click on the request button. And remember to boost your favorite ones using both the heart and the booster buttons here. So here it is, not only is it a launcher that brings with it massive app icons, but also some additional accessibility features promptly named the Big Launcher, which is available to try out for free. Just simply grab it from the Play Store and follow the on-screen prompts to complete the setup process. After which, you should be welcomed by this default setup, with shortcuts available for the phone, messaging, camera and gallery app. Now, as a side note, for both the phone and messaging app, Big Launcher brings with it its own accompanying add-on apps. Just simply tap on each one of them and then click the install button. And just like that, you'll be taken to the Play Store to replace your stock apps. Now I know what you're thinking, this launch is nothing too special so far. That is, until you get to the SOS feature, which once set up with one single tap, will instantly call an emergency contact SOS, SOS will be called in 30 seconds. and even better send an SOS message with your GPS location and of course it's fully customizable with a whole slew of options. Now before we move on to the accessibility options this launcher also has another hidden gem, the ability to limit what apps can be accessed. So instead of confusing the user with loads of different app icons, you can now limit the apps to a handful, making it perfect for not only older adults, but also young kids. Now when it comes to accessibility, this launcher has everything you can think of. Starting with flashing app icons whenever you have a notification, such as here from my messaging app, the ability to read out any text by simply long pressing on it. Test received at 10, 29, Tuesday, 10th November. And of course, the ability to increase the font size, taking it even further. All of these, as well as the rest of the launcher's settings, can be accessed by simply clicking on these three dots here. After which, you can edit the general settings, such as the launcher's appearance, turning off and on any accessibility features, edit the home screen buttons, adding in your own custom ones, or even if you wanted, adding in a second screen altogether. There's definitely a ton of settings for you to play around with, so make sure you take your time and have a good look around. Now, on a final note, something that you'll find super useful with this launcher is the fact that you can not only place apps on the home screen, but also contacts, toggles for the phone settings, website URL links, and taking it one step further, even shortcuts within different apps themselves. Here, as a perfect example of this, I'm going to be using the external shortcut option to replace the gallery app with a shortcut for Google Maps, which will instantly route the user to any predetermined location. And of course, make sure to set this app as your default launcher so every time you unlock your phone, it loads straight into it. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And before you leave, make sure to grab all of these custom live wallpapers from my very own custom creation app. Just simply head to the live video section and you'll find them all there. And remember, if you have any wallpaper suggestions of your own, make sure to let me know from right within the app itself and boost the ones that you want to see next. And make sure you check out my other Android customization videos. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.